Hello everybody and welcome to lesson 10. So far we have discussed different methods of solving linear programming. Some of the methods that we have discussed are the graphical method, the general simplex method, the duality, and so on. So today we are going to discuss about linear programming solution using big M method. And the objective of uh, this particular lesson is to solve the linear programming problem using big M method. By the way, before that, let's discuss about something that we have discussed earlier. The simplex method algorithm requires an initial basic feasible solutions. As you remember, the initial basic feasible solution is the slack variables in the case of uh, maximization. You remember that we put the slack variables as initial basic feasible solution. We put the slack variables as initial basic feasible solution on the columns of the basic variables from the initial simplex tableau. But this doesn't work. That means starting with initial basic feasible solution in the case of slack variables doesn't work in the case of where there is a greater than or equal to n equal to constraints. That works or initial basic feasible solution is the slack variables can be implemented in the case where there is less than or equal to constraints. And this doesn't work in a linear program having greater than or equal to or equal to constraints. And here comes big M method. Big M method is a modified version of a simplex method that will solve linear programming problem having greater than or equal to and equal to constraints. And in this case, in this case, we will introduce artificial variables to get starting basic feasible solution to make them starting fe basic feasible solution and ultimately since we are not interested in the uh, artificial variables values so we will try to make them to be zero if all the artificial variables in the final solution equal to zero so the solution is optimal or if any artificial value are positive values so the problem is infeasible and after all, our objective is to eliminate or to minimize artificial variables to be zero since we are not interested in manipulation of the We are not interested in the values of the artificial variables. Let's now see the steps of the big M method. The first step is express the problem in start and form. So here we have to change the inequalities to equality. While we are doing that, we have to add slack variables for less than or equal to constraints. And we have to subtract surplus variables for the constraints of greater than or equal to uh, constraints. Because if the left hand side is greater than or equal to the right hand side, so in order to make them equal, we have to subtract surplus variables from the left hand side from the left hand side so we convert to equality and the fourth step is add a negative artificial variables to the constraints of to the constraint of the type greater than or equal to and equal to by the way an artificial variables have nothing to do but we just add just to solve the problem we are not interested with the artificial variables because it is nothing to do with the linear programming problem. Adding artificial variables violates the corresponding constraints. It, uh, when we add an artificial variables, totally the relation uh, will fail. Thus, we have to try to make the, the artificial variables to be zero in the final solutions. If they will be zero, so there is an optimum solution 
for the problem or if the problem does not have a solution at least one of the artificial variables will appear in the final solution with a positive value if the artificial vari variables will appear in the final solution with a positive value so so there is no solution for the linear program this is achieved by assigning that means the process to make the artificial variables to be zero is achieved by assigning a very large variables m in the objective function by the way the name big m comes from this point and minus m for the maximization problem and plus m for the minimization problem where m should be greater than zero or m should be large enough and the fifth step is use the artificial variables for the starting solution and proceed with the usual simplex method or the, the normal simplex method let's move to an example so this is an example that is a maximization z equals minus 2 x1 minus x2 subjected to the constraint 3 x1 plus x2 equal to 3 and the second constraint is 4 x1 plus 3 x2 less than, greater than or equal to 6 and x1 plus 2 x2 less than or equal to 4 and x1 and x2 are greater than or equal to 0 as you see here there is equality and there is greater than or equal to so we cannot take we cannot take slack variables as initial basic visible solution thus we have to go for big m method big m method so the first step of big m method is standardizing the less than or equal to by adding the slack variables for less than or equal to constraints and subtracting surplus variables from greater than or equal to constraints so we have to make a standardized linear programming so and when we make the standardized we have to add we have to add those slack variables and surplus variables with zero coefficient to our objective functions and we have to subtract the big m the big m with the uh, with the a1 and a2 artificial variables with the m as a coefficient as a coefficient since this maximization we have to subtract we have to subtract so it looks like this this is a standardized form this is the standardized form so now let's put this on initial basic initial simplex tableau when we put initial on initial simplex tableau so cj stands for the coefficients of the objective function that is minus 2 minus 1 0 0 minus 1 m minus m and we have to put here the variables the variables we have to put here the variables and the basic variables uh, taken here is that a1 a2 and s2 a1 a2 and s2 can be considered as a basic variables initial basic uh, feasible solutions now let's start the normal procedures of the simplex method and we have uh, to put here the coefficient we have to put here the coefficient and we have uh, we have to calculate we have to calculate the z value by multiplying by multiplying the cb the coefficient of basic variable with the corresponding x n value and adding them we get these values we get these values and then we have to calculate cj minus zj we have to calculate we have to subtract zj from cj and we get these values and from cj minus zj select the maximum positive value of from cj minus zj row from cj minus zj row and we get that 7m minus 4 is the maximum positive number so this is our this is our pivot column this is our pivot column and x1 is an entering variable and to decide the pivot row select the smallest positive ratio smallest positive ratio of the right hand side to the pivot column to the pivot column and we get that one is the smallest positive ratio or the least positive ratio thus the first row is the pivot row and the leading variable is 
a1 and the entering variable is x1 the entering variable is x1 so this is this 3 is the pivot value this is 3 is the pivot value since x1 is an entering variable and a1 is a living variable we have to replace them we have to replace as it is and our interest now on words is to make the pivot value that is 3 to be 1 so we have to conduct a row operation that is r1 divided by 3 and we get a new first row like this and this is the new first row which is uh, r1 divided by 3 and the next step is to make to make the values in the pivot column to be zero except the pivot value except one we have to make the other values to be zero so we have to conduct r to minus 4 r1 to make the this 4 to be zero this 4 to be zero and it looks like this it looks like this and the other is to make this value this one value to be zero by conducting the operation as r3 minus r1 and the row 3 become like this it looks like this and the remaining step is to calculate zj the next step is to calculate zj so zj can be calculated by the summation of cb times cn cb times cn so we get the value we get the value like this so this is the new value of zj and the next is the next value is the next uh, step is to calculate zj minus cj so zj minus cj will be like this now the next step is to check the optimality check the optimality by taking cj minus zj we have to check the optimality whether cj minus zj values are less than or equal to zero as you see as you see here 5m minus 1 over 3 is greater than zero so we are not arriving on the optimality thus we have to repeat the iteration again thus we have to determine the pivot column by selecting the maximum positive of the cj minus zj so the maximum positive is 5m minus 1 over 3 so this is the this is the pivot column so this is the pivot column and then we have to determine we have to determine the pivot row the pivot row is determined by taking the least ratio of the right hand side of the right hand side with that of the pivot column and the least ratio here is that six over five so the second row is the pivot row second row is a pivot row and here an entering variable is x2 whereas the living variable is a2 so we have to replace a2 with x2 so we replaced a2 and the next step is to make the pivot value that is intersection of the pivot column and the pivot row that is 5 over 3 to be 1 so using the row operation we have to make them 1 so it becomes like this and the next step is to make the pivot values except the pivot the, the pivot column and values except the pivot value to be zero that means making this one over three to be zero and five over three to be zero using elementary row operations so by conducting r1 minus one over three r2 we make this zero and it looks like this and second is by conducting five three over five r3 minus r2 we can make five over three as zero and the row will be like this and now we have to calculate zj zj can be calculated by the formula summations of cb coefficient of basic variables times the corresponding x in columns and we get the value like this that means minus 2 times 1 plus minus 1 times 0 plus 0 times 0 so it becomes minus 2 minus 2 and then we have to subtract cj from zj from cj so we get like this we get the value this so now let's check the optimality let's check the optimality so let's look at the cj minus zj values and 
as we see from here they are all less than or equal to zero so optimality is arrived so from this from this z max is minus 12 over 5 with the values of x1 3 over 5 and x2 6 over 5 s2 3 over 5 and the remaining variables are the remaining variables are not basic as you see from this table from this final table there is no artificial variables remain in the basic variables so this problem has a solution if the artificial variables exist in the final table so the solution will be invisible invisible but here as you see there is no artificial variable here there is no artificial variable here so it has a solution of this it has a solution of this this is an exercise for you and uh, the answer is also provided so check find out the solutions using big m method and you can check with the solution if you get if you face a problem so you can write on the comment box i have finished the lessons for today thank you have a good time bye